have it. Sunday it is just gone one o'clock. Traffic is a nightmare. People are out shopping. I need to hit the gym. Probably do back, uh, back biceps, deadlifts, throw in there. And then we're gonna do some running and try and practice that. See if I can beat my nine minute two rounds. Try and aim for a bit longer. See you in there. Ah, it's true. Ah, it's true. of seven is any good but 15 minutes straight off non-stop so we're getting close to the 30 minute mark so pretty good so far so what we want to talk about is my form on running so as you can see from the clips of my running from the side and the back I need to know my foot placement and see if they're any good so let me know in the comment section if my foot is planned to completely flat or is it off to the sides? Let me know what you think for all the runners out there. Do I have something on my face? Freshly brewed coffee in the morning. Um, I think I'll go with that one. Now I can do close to 30 minutes. We're still probably going to do another week on the treadmill. As I said, leave your comments on the foot placement, thinking if I'm doing okay. Uh, as I said, we got up to 25 minutes, which is pretty damn good. Uh, damn good going considering it's only been one week. Um, that will obviously increase. Need to start running on the road. Yes, most of you have already said so already. Need to start practicing on that. Um, but I do need to get some high vis because it's so dark in the mornings and at night to start running on the road. And I probably want to start doing it in the weekday as well. So, much appreciated on all that, Frank. Now it's time for work. Let's see what the day brings. is it when you see something in the distance you grab your camera and you just know you haven't got a big enough zoom lens on to see it that are oh, if you could just see that bloody picture with the sun rays coming through then oh my god I'm gonna have to get like a 200 mil lens 
because oh it was amazing just shame you couldn't see it on camera but i can see it now it's freaking beautiful everyone it is the following day of the last clip you saw as you saw i got myself a coffee a large hazelnut latte actually so <clears throat> parked up at a depot needed to pick a parcel up um if you follow me on snapchat you might know exactly what this is um i'm not going to keep you in too much suspense other unlike other youtubers who like doing that um let's see yeah, Jesus Christ. They packaged this up well. Um, oh, I didn't really want to get it all out. Uh, God, that's a huge poster. You see that? Let's see if I can find a little A4 one or something. So. Ooh. Yeah, focus on that. Here we go. There we are. Uh, that's on the back of the map. So, body power model search. Uh, you've probably seen it on some of the social medias I've been doing, if you follow me or some other people. This is event, uh, which I am actually hosting on November the 5th uh, in Oxford. So if you're in my region of Oxfordshire, Buckinghamshire or Berkshire, definitely sign up. Don't freak out straight away. You're first thinking, I'm not stage ready whatsoever. It's only a casting, it's not the end of the world. You've got till May, which is the finals, to get in shape. All the casting is, is basically just to see if you've got the potential to one, get in shape, which is only 50% of the score mark. The other 50% is made up of your personality, how you handle yourself on stage, and everything else like that. The casting fee is only. £12, £10 for you, use discount code, I'll put that in the description. Anyway, what you get for the £10 basically on the day, which is the 5th of November, is you get to meet me. Woohoo! Uh, there'll be three judges. There'll also be a professional photographer taking a professional photo of you, which he will email. You'll also get slightly coached on doing the tea walk uh, out on stage as well. Uh, you'll get judged, you'll get comments, feedback, everything else. You'll meet a bunch of people there who are doing exactly the same thing as you. If you get put through to the final, which as I said will be in May, but in the meantime leading up to May, there will be other events to help you along the way, which, you know, which posing routines, etc, etc, and stuff like that. Um, if you put through, you'll... Uh, be entered into the fi uh, semi-final which is on the Saturday I believe of Body Power if you surpass that you then go into the finals which is Sunday which is traditionally what happens when they host the um, you know, Body Power PCA events and stuff like that um, bikini fitness and stuff like that at Body Power so yes I will leave a link in the description to this if you're not in my region don't worry there are other regions on the back of the map if you go to the website, sign up, you can pick your region, turn up, pay, it's £10. If you're thinking about competing next year, there's no harm in just having this for £10. Go to one of the regions, turn up, you meet loads of people, get great contacts, and it's a little slip into it so you know. It's in a confined area, which are pretty much um, like venues of gyms. Mine's in a dance studio, which is a private hire, so there's not going to be public or anything else like there. So it's going to be very secure and everything else. Uh, no prying eyes, so if you're kind of nervous about being on stage and stuff like that, it's going to be completely relaxed. I'm going to make you all relaxed. The people who are hosting these events are going to make you completely relaxed. So I would say it's a brilliant stepping stone if you are thinking about competing. Just get on it. Anyway, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. Uh, most of you have come across from Goody Beats, uh, aka Logan Delgado. So much appreci uh, appreciated on that. I am probably fucking running late for work now, so I've got to get going. And I shall see you on the next episode with hopefully a bit more content.